ideas. Don't. And I look at her, she's beautiful. I look at her and I'm like, you know, when she gets older, I don't think I have the heart to fucking smack her to discipline her. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I throw like a sneaker at the cat from time to time and shit like that. <laughs> but I look at my daughter, I don't have the heart. Like, I look at her, like, I, I could probably punish her and send her to a room, but can I fucking hit her? No. Like, I, I don't think I have the balls to do it. But they also, they always say that if you grew up in a house that you got fucked up at, that you'll probably have a house that you fuck people up at, you know, like if you're a parent. And I'll tell you what, I grew up in the 70s. My mom fucked me up, okay? My mom fucked me up. Not like fuck, it was a controlled beating, okay? Let's get this shit straight. Everybody in this room got a controlled beating at one time. That means you're not gonna fucking die, okay? You're gonna get a couple punches to the head, you'll go down, and in two days you get a doll. No big fucking deal. That's a controlled fucking beating, all right? You're not gonna die, you know? When I was a kid, you know, I, I used to bust my mom's balls, and, you know, she's Cuban, and, you know, a single mom, and she would lose her temper from time to time. And, you know, you get like, my mom would hit me with like the straight punch to the head, the, the fucking overhead right. In Spanish, it's called un avión. It means a fucking airplane. He said what? And, and, you know, you get like, my mom would hit me with like the straight punch to the head, the, the fucking overhead right. In Spanish, it's called un avión. It means a fucking airplane. <laughs> And then they had, they had like different names from Oh my they... god, I'm gonna mess that up trying it, yo. I ain't gonna even try it. The, all right, I'm gonna try it, but not on camera, because I ain't about to be laughing at me for messing that word up, bro. But... Good one. Yeah, like the fucking uh, and and guy at that's, that's the bitch slap. <laughs> you know, that's the Stockton slap, right? <laughs> Dumb, it means a fucking airplane. <laughs> And then they had, they had like different names from them. And they had like the fucking uh, and guy at that's, that's, that's the bitch slap. You know, that's the... A guy a Did I say that wrong? Okay. Stockton slap, right? And then my mom had the backhand, the tapawoka. That's just the throw you off. The tapawoka. Oh, to open you. Yeah. It opens you up for a sidekick to the body, right? That's a You're like, ah, bam! You get kicked and shit. So I took a beat. Listen, my mom threw a beat on me one time on 86th Street. When I was like six, I wouldn't get off a mule in front of eight. There's a bank on 86 in Broadway, and I, there was a mule, some fucking dude with a mule. You know this was back in the day. And you give him like three dollars, and they put a cowboy hat on you, and then you get on the fucking mule with a blast and shit. And I wouldn't get off the mule, my mother beat the fuck out of me with the first. That was a good one, like a live appearance type beating. You don't get those. <laughs> But that was it. Like, as I got old, I never really got hit. My mom was single. My mom always told me, don't ever let nobody touch your face. A real man doesn't let nobody touch their face. Don't let nobody fucking touch your face. So, being Cuban, I was also Catholic. So my mom would scare me with the nuns. She'd go, if you fuck up, I'm going to send you to school. Those nuns will fuck you up. Well, after torturing my mom for a few years, she said, fuck it. I'm putting you in Catholic school. I'll let the nuns deal with you. And I think my mom... Hold on, bro. Nope. Mm -mm. I ain't about to mess up this equipment on my shirt, so I gotta pause it for just a second. Mm -hmm. I could've took that out, but that would've been right. I would've deprived y'all of some real moments. Yep. I knew the nuns were gonna fuck me up. She just didn't wanna know, you know what I'm saying? Like, she's like, they're gonna fuck you up, but I don't wanna know about it. So it was one of those schools, Sacred Heart School for Boys. You went on Sunday and you came home on Thursdays. And the nuns were complete fucking douchebags. I mean, complete douchebags. And I'm not lying, I don't give a fuck if you don't like the truth. They were fucking, I think about it now, 30 years later, and it really was mild abuse. It was very mild. I could have dialed 911 on those bitches. But, you know. <laughs> nobody would have listened to my cries, you understand me? They say nuns don't whatever, so there was this one nun, Sister Anna, there was Sister Marie, there was Sister Hyacinth, and there was Sister Anna, uh, some. Hyacinth, okay. Sister Hyacinth, okay. All right. I said Hyacinth. Ah, oh, man. My bad. Mother, Sister Patricia. Sister fucking Hyacinth was the most evil person that ever walked in the fucking face of the earth. They didn't hit me at that school. Hey, yo, bro, look at the conviction. Hold on. Sister, uh, some of them. Sister Patricia. Sister fucking Hyacinth was the most evil person that ever walked in the fucking face of the earth. He looked at it like, yo, 
You need to hit me when I say this, bro. <laughs> they didn't hit me at that school because I was a bad person. They used to hit me because I didn't like milk. Till this fucking day. Listen, till this day I fucking hate milk, okay? I'm not allergic to it. I just don't fucking like it. That's it. A milkshake? Completely fucking different. I'll drink that out but no plane out of a box. I don't like that shit. <laughs> it smells like dick. I don't fucking like it. That's it. I never. Wait a minute, bro. Why? How? Man, how he just messed milk up for me, bro? <laughs> Uncle Joey, only Uncle I fucking like it. I don't like broccoli then, I don't like it now. I don't give a fuck, I don't like it. But they would abuse me if I didn't drink the milk, they'd put it on my head, and then bitch slap me like three fucking times. And then when I went down, she hit me with the tray of few food. The nuns? These people are fucking savages. And this one fucking nun, Sister Heisen, she's New Jersey, she looks just like Governor Christie, all fucked up. She was like five foot two, three. Oh man, you almost got my equipment. Pretend the bitch didn't fuck around. <laughs> and if you look at a nun, they have a fucking ring of Jesus. They're married to Jesus. And before she'd hit you, she'd turn it around. And that's how they fucking cut you and shit like that. No, <laughs> these nuns don't fuck around, guys. <laughs> hey, yo, bro, oh my God, man. Joey got me scared of nuns, yo. I don't even know if that movie Nuns and Drop Jet, man. Ain't no more free promos. Y'all gotta pay me for that, movie people. But yeah, man, Uncle Joey. This is real old school fucking Catholicism. And no, no, I wasn't molested. I was an ugly kid that didn't fuck with me. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> fuck you. You, I was an altar boy, but I never hung out. Fuck you. I don't want to play cards. I don't want no hard ice cream, cocksucker. <laughs> I'm a Carvel motherfucker anyway, you know what I'm saying? I'm a Carvel motherfucker, fuck that hard ice cream bitch. <laughs> fuck you think you're dealing with, I got morals, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, I'm in the fucking fifth. Uncle Joey let you know in a hot video, don't mix him with that bro. He don't play that. Great, I've been there for like three years. <laughs> Not in the fucking fifth grade, I got, I got to school for fucking three years. <laughs> I'm glad he clarified that. I was in the third grade and I stayed there to the fifth. But there was a reason why. And I didn't know. I didn't know until I was like 30. I wanted, I wanted to make my confirmation. I'm like, why am I making my confirmation at 30? And I remembered this story. This is why. Because in the fifth grade, I couldn't take it no more. Now, now my dad died when I was three. So my parents, my mom, at the time put me in kung fu, like karate with the brothers, these black motherfuckers on 90th Street. And they would teach him like ghetto karate, like fucking judo and shit. I was out of my mind. Between that and Bruce Lee, I was really a killer motherfucker. You know what I mean? And Bruce Lee had died, and I was all fucked up in the head. My dad had died. Yo, I feel you, bro. Yo, rest in peace to Bruce, man. Much love, Bruce, man. One of the greatest, bro. And between the pain and the fucking low self-esteem and the anger, I was boiling inside. And one day I'm in the fucking Catholic school, and there's two little twins, they're like half momos, Raphael and Nino, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> they're fucking crying. I'm like, what are you crying for? They go, Sister Heisen, my mommy's having a baby, and Sister Heisen won't let us call the hospital. I'm like, uh, you know, not for nothing. Jesus don't pay for these fucking lights. <laughs> your mom and dad do. Get up. Just go call your fuck. <laughs> Uncle Joey is wild, bro. Your mom, it's an emergency. And the what? nun, Sister Heisen Turtis, and she goes, really, all three is go outside and wait. Now, when the nun told you to wait outside the class, that means you were getting the fucking beaten. <laughs> like, you're getting the shit knocked out of you, right? <laughs> so the bell rings. <laughs> The bell rings. I, I, he had to take a drink, bro. You know, she comes out and she goes, so what did you three guys, what were you talking about? And there were the two twins. She took the one twin first, smacked the fuck out of him like 15 times. He went down. <laughs> she went to grab me and I'm like, I looked at the twin. I'm like, that's your brother. Get in there, motherfucker, right? Why am I fighting for you? Get in there, you fuck. She grabbed him, fucked his world up. And then... She grabbed me and started bitch slapping me. But I kept thinking about my mom. I, I got sick and tired of this motherfucker. Oh, no, bro. Oh, man. 
Y'all see me crying, camera, bro. Uncle Joey, stupid. Fuck, it hit me every time I went drink my milk. And I was about to snap, so I put my hands up. And she's biting her tongue. And I forget this going, put your hands down. Put your hands down. I'm like, fuck you, you gotta work for it. You know what I'm saying? I ain't putting shit down. She's hitting me in the fucking temple. This bitch is fucking me up. So finally she goes, you're not gonna put your hands down and get in the utility closet. That's basically where they fucking killed you, right there. They just fucking killed you. Uncle Joyce said you died in there. And they called your mother and said he died of pneumonia. And that, that was it. <laughs> creepy motherfuckers, those Catholics. I'm telling you right now. I look behind the curtain. They're creepy motherfuckers. So she says, get in the utility class. That's where they had like the books and the fucking uh, protractors and all that shit. Hold on, bro. I'm sorry, guys. Oh, man. Y'all gonna need me to be able to breathe if I can keep reacting, bro. I'm sorry, bro. This dude is terrible, bro. <laughs> I love this. I love this. I hope y'all enjoyed it. I love it. So we get in there, and she fucking doesn't even slam the door, guy. She just fucking jacks me right in the fucking mouth. Like, I thought my whole time I feel the blood, but I put my hands up. And she's like, don't you ever tell me. And she's just smacking me, guy. And she's just going at it. Bam, bam. And she had elbows. She had kicks. This way before UFC Unleashed. This thing is going on. She's kicking my legs to lower my hands and she's smacking me. I'll tell you what, guys, I, I you know, I was fucking pissed. I, I, I couldn't believe this lady was doing this to me. And at one point, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna fucking take this bitch out. I'm just gonna take this motherfucker out. I don't give a fuck. But if I go for her, I gotta fucking go for it. Cause she's 320, you follow me? I'm like 100 with a crucifix in my pocket. If, if I go for it, I gotta go for this motherfucker. So finally she's like, put your hands down. I wouldn't put them down, but I started tasting the blood in my mouth. And I started fucking losing it. And something just made me go, I'm gonna go for this motherfucker. But I'm gonna grab it by the ears and I grabbed it by the veil, because that's where all the magic powers are, right? <laughs> I grabbed it by the fucking veil. And I'm like, don't try to fucking hit me again, you cocksucker. I hate you. And I'm just crying. This is seven years of anger and pain. I miss my father. What's going on in my house? I just grabbed and I kept banging the fucking head. I don't give a fuck. You fuck. I'm hanging up. I know. A lot of you motherfuckers are like, Joey, you can't hit a woman. She's a fucking nun. Big fucking difference, okay? Big fucking difference. She don't suck no cock. They don't take it in the ass. These motherfuckers are angry, all right? They don't need no pussy. They just walk around with a fucking black suit on. Someone's got to Sister Hasi, Hasi, man, well, her name is, boy. I got her by the fucking ears now, and I ain't letting go, because I know she's gonna fuck my world up. And I'm pounding, and pounding, and pounding. Now the black dudes, they taught me judo too. So I went to give her like a hip bro. But she's 320, I couldn't do it. So I just settled on a headlock, and I'm grabbing her by the fucking head, and I'm squeezing it, and she's going, you're gonna go to hell. And I'm like, son of fucking you, mother. Motherfuckers, <laughs> 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 
<laughs> so I don't know nothing. I don't fucking know nothing. They call the police, the kids are clapping. It's fucking crazy. We're taking over the whole fucking hallway. And I go, fuck it. Let's call my mother. So we dragged this nun in a half a arm bar and a headlock. And we took her shoes off. I don't know why till today. She had a big fucking fat feet with no nail polish and shit. And we took the feet out from under her and just dragged her. Her head was turning red. And one of the Puerto Ricans called the number, put it to my ear, and I called my mom. Me, my mom, my mom, me dio. That means the nun hit me. Let me tell you something. Hey, yo, bro. Dragged her, her head was turning red. Oh, and one of the Puerto Ricans called the number, put it to my ear, and I called my mom. Me, my mom, my mom, me dio. That means the nun hit me. Let me tell you something. Carney, New Jersey is about 22 minutes from Union City, New Jersey. My mother made it in eight minutes. <laughs> she shows up with eight Puerto Ricans and a Santa Rhea priest with a live chicken. You understand? That's when shit goes down, motherfucker. So they finally got me off the fuck. She's, her hair's fucked up, the veil's off. My mom's telling her, you want to hit my son? You got to get fucked in the ass and have your own kid, boy. I'm loving it. My mom got my back and shit. So now we're sitting down, people holding on to their heads. Got the priest in the room, the principal. And they tell my mom, he's out. Him and his other fucking cohorts, like eight of us, they're fucking out of here. And my mom's listening to this. She's got half a bag on. She's a little drunk and shit. And uh, she's like, he ain't going fucking nowhere. And, and they're like, no, he's got to go. He's, he's out of here. They're like, listen, when I was growing up, there was this Jew booking in the neighborhood. Tremendous. <laughs> Let me tell you something. Thank God for Jewish people. <laughs> All right, this motherfucker was a bookie. Hey, yo. Enjoy the real one, man. He speak what's on his mind, bro. In the early 70s, if you beat him for like two or three thousand, he would show up at your house with five dollar bills. And he'd say to you, You want me to pay you? I'll pay you, but I'm gonna give you five hundreds. Ah, let it roll till next week. Then the next week, he got you. You follow me? So he you had his he always had your fucking money. He would just lie to you that he had five hundred dollar bills. Who the fuck is a five hundred dollar bill? People would believe it. That's an old Jew trick right there. Let me tell you what. <laughs> he goes to throw my mom out. My mom goes, listen, he ain't going nowhere. Or I want my deposit back in fives. That's an old Jew trick, too. It blew their mind. Fives? <laughs> we don't have no fucking fives till Sunday. <laughs> then my fucking son stays, motherfuckers, okay? And they let me graduate. They let me finish out the year. But you know what? A nun never fucking hit me again. That's my story. Thank you. <laughs> Shed tears that time, bro. <laughs> and you cry. It's crazy because I'm gonna put that in the subtitles and they're gonna be like, what, what do you mean he cried, yo? But it's a good humor, a humorous cry. <laughs> I mean, I actually cried till I laughed till I cried, bro. Wow. Man, big up to Uncle Joy, man. Big up to you, man. Salute, man. Sister Hyacinth, Hyacinth, I messed the name up. He's a rough lady, man. You and Uncle Joey got history. <laughs> you already know what to do, family. If you like that one right there, thumb that joint up, man, and pass it along. Share it and put a funny in somebody's life, man. I appreciate each and every last one of y'all who do that, man. <laughs> but yeah, man. Wow. This was really good. I hope y'all enjoyed it, man. You know what I'm talking about? It's the worst part of the video, though. It's the part where I got to go to get some more. I got more subscriber content to get into. And you already know I can't wait to get it to y'all, family. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm gonna go get busy. I'll get with y'all real soon though, man. I love y'all. Stay safe out there. Boink, boink. Ladies. <laughs> Niggas hating on the kid, I guess it's cause I'm vicious Rolling up in something new and taking all the bitches How you get your car that tone, that shit is so prestigious I would compliment your shit, but I would really mean it Niggas hating on the kid, I guess it's cause I'm vicious